Greetings, everybody. Daniel Lorraine here with Lucky Pick Guitars, or should I say, Lucky Pick Fiddles? <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. Look at it, look at it. It's so pretty. It's so cool. Look, 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 look. Oh my gosh. Oh, dude, I, I, I don't think I've ever been prouder of myself. Uh, <laughs> this thing is so stinking cool, man. I am very excited. Okay, now uh, l let's go ahead and talk about it a little bit. Now, what I did was um, I had um, I had seen these boxes before, and the first time I thought I saw one, I'm like, hey, that might make a good cigar box violin sometime in the future. Uh, when I was doing, you know, in my in my tens and even teens in the builds, you know, and so um, so I have one or two of them laying around, and I kind of kept them aside for a violin build. Now, thanks to the tenacity of, uh, of a friend of mine named Elisa, uh, I built her a uh, tenor guitar way back when. I, um, it's actually the one I use in a lot of my um, a lot of my artwork. It's got the eagle on it. It's a really cool box. But she's a violin player, and she has been asking me for a violin uh, for months, months and months. And I'm just all like, no, I'm not ready. No, I'm not ready. But um, you know. I'm like, you know, build 70 is coming up, and that is um that is what this one is. This is build number 70, but I named it V1 because this is the first violin I've ever made. I watched a lot of videos, I looked at a lot of diagrams, and um I ordered in blank parts. So I wanted a nice violin scroll. So I ordered a blank scroll. If you look at the pictures, you'll see the old blank scroll, um, the blank neck. Um, it came very rough, um, but it had the basic shape. Um, the fretboard was already attached to it, the fingerboard here. And so uh, I didn't quite have to guess so much at the angle that was right here um, since they already made it. So what I did was um, I had to sand this like three different times. Uh, then I stained it and then I shellacked it. And I love shellac these days, by the way. It's really cool stuff. Three coats of shellac, and it's, like, beautiful. Okay, and then um, then the, I ordered the pegs. Um, now, when I got the pegs in, they didn't fit the holes. And I'm like, oh, look at that. They don't fit the holes. So I had to, um, I had to drill a larger hole on this side and a smaller hole on that side. And then I had to get my rat tail file and kind of file the whole thing down until the pegs fit nice for a compression fit like they do. And, um, and that worked. And then there was no hole in the peg either. So I'm like, oh crap, is there supposed to be a hole in there? Um, so once again, watch some more videos. I am not a violin player. And yes, there is supposed to be a hole in the peg. So I got a drill and I drilled a hole in the peg, watched a bunch of videos on how to string a violin. And, um, and eventually I got there. Um, then I got, uh, the, the, the bridge. Okay. So this bridge just comes the almost a big chunk of wood. It's a blank bridge. I didn't know anything about that either. So more YouTube. <laughs> Thanks all the YouTube people for supplying me with knowledge on how to cut and shape a bridge. I think I did a pretty good job. Um, maybe the G string is a hair high, but the E string is super low and it plays really, really nice. Um, and then I also got with the with the pegs. I went ahead and got um, the uh, the chin rest, the tail piece, and the little plug down there. And um, so these were the things that I just couldn't make myself. So I ordered them, and uh, and they came in. Um, and then it was just a matter of reinforcing and cutting the box. So if you can see inside the box, um, I actually did the the thing. I've got I've got a sound post in there. Um, this box was pretty good. It had a nice thin top and, and um, bottom, but the sides were very strong. And so I saw somebody else make these cuts on a box on YouTube, and I'm like, hey, that's really cool. And it's exactly four and a half inches from here to here, which is the same um, diameter or width that a regular violin is. And, um, and it came out really, really cool. I glued an extra piece of oak on the back uh, as a st stability. And then on the inside part, right inside of here, I have two oak slats that the neck piece is um, glued and then even screwed down into. And I sunk that in so it, it's nice and smooth. Uh, what else? What else? Um, after, after all that was done, you know, staining, sanding, decorating, and... Um, and uh, putting everything together and 
I'm telling you, man, I had to watch video after video. It took me about a good solid seven days to, to make this violin. I uh, worked on it a little bit at a time. All right, so, and it actually does sound really cool. Now, I am not a violin player, so please don't judge me on this. But uh, well, here's how it sounds, okay? Let's just do uh, open strings. And then... Yeah, that's the D and the G. Yeah, and then uh, the E and the A. I'll try to do a scale for you. Oh, that's about the best of my abilities, folks. <laughs> um, I was really hoping I could I could come across a violin player somewhere here in Texas. I'm sure they're out there, but I just don't know any. Um, everybody's uh, in different states right now, and so, um, you know, I just don't have anybody to, around to play it. Um, man, I, I don't even know what else to say, but I'm just so extremely proud of myself. <laughs> um, I've got a couple more people uh, on the list uh, that have re requested violins from me. Um, I don't know, it reminds me of something that you would have, like, aboard ship or something, you know? It's just... It's so stinking cool, man. I just love it. So, Elisa, man, I, I hope you enjoy it. Um, I, I I can't wait for you to get it and to make a video to um, show me how it actually sounds when it's played properly. Um, you may have to adjust the, uh, the bridge a little bit more. Uh, I did my best on it. But once again, first time, not a violin player, don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> But this is build number 70. This is violin number one. I am very proud of myself. I'm super happy uh, to add these to my repertoire of things that I am building. So, Cigar Box Fiddles, people. Cigar Box Fiddles by Daniel O'Ryan of Lucky Pit Guitars. And I'm going to play us out. I'll see you guys later. Woohoo!